Hey, this is Dr. Nick with the Springfield Wellness Center. Uh, today we're going to be talking about scoliosis and what you can do to help uh, fix it once it starts to become a problem. So scoliosis is obviously the curvature of the spine and it affects uh, children ages 10 to 15, uh, predominantly female um, children. So the way that we can test for scoliosis to see if, uh, if you have it is a simple uh, test that everyone does when they're in elementary school. Uh, basically, you would and you can do this with your, your child at home if you want. Basically, you would stand uh, in front of them. They would bend over at the waist like this. And then you're just looking for any kind of abnormalities. Um, a high uh, shoulder blade, uneven shoulders, uneven hips, just anything that doesn't look like it's even, if there is something that's a little uh, amiss, then you wanna make sure that you uh, talk to a chiropractor or your medical doctor as soon as you can. So we'll talk a little bit about what we can do uh, to help it. So there's two different kinds of scoliosis. Uh, one is a congenital scoliosis where your bones are actually uh, malformed and it causes the curvature of the spine. So it's kind of like the foundation of a house. If the foundation is not even, then everything above it is gonna be off kilter. And so what the spine does is if it has an area that um, is off to one side, it's going to, you have a, a reflex in your body called the writing reflex, which will cause your head to stay over your sacrum at all times. So if you're leaning off to the side, it'll only last for so long because your body will uh, naturally turn back into the, into the curve. And what also happens is over time, you'll have a primary curve like this, but you can also create a secondary curve in a different part of the spine, which would be called an S curve because it has two different uh, concavities as opposed to just a C curve that just has one. So the congenital uh, deformity really isn't anything that can be uh, fixed via chiropractic, but the other one which is more common is called the ido idiopathic scoliosis. So idiopathic meaning that there's no real uh, reason for it to be happening. Uh, what chiropractors tend to find with idiopathic uh, scoliosis is misalignments of the spine as well as imbalances in the muscles along the spine. So those are the two things that we really focus on here in the office. So the three things that I would suggest any person with scoliosis to be doing, um, as long as it's not something that's congenital, um, is to be doing chiropractic care, uh, massage to help with any tight muscles, and then yoga and exercise to be helping with uh, any uh, weak muscles and the tight muscles as well. We can do some stretches that we'll be showing later here uh, in the video. So for the chiropractic side of things, with scoliosis, you're gonna have the curve and whichever, uh, area, whichever way it curves out to is going to be the convexity and then whatever uh, area it curves away from is gonna be the concavity. So with chiropractic, normally when uh, the, the spine uh, goes convex like this, it will also rotate to that side. So what we're gonna do as chiropractors is we're gonna try to find uh, the area uh, where the peak of the curve is and try to put a force back into the spine to try to help to restore uh, that normal alignment. Uh, whenever you have the convexity, you're gonna have tight muscles. So there are muscles that are right along your spine that are gonna help support and stabilize your spine. The uh, convex side is going to have tight muscles and the concave side is going to have weak muscles. So what we're gonna be talking about later in, uh, in the video is how do we stretch these muscles out and how do we strengthen these muscles. An extension of the spine will help bring oxygen. Hi, this is Nancy talking to you about Fitbit of the Week regarding scoliosis and exercises you can do to help relieve the symptoms of scoliosis as well as strengthen the core. The first one we're gonna do is help, um, to help mobilize the spine is cat and cow. We can do it on all fours on the mat. I'll go this way. And we're gonna inhale, get our breathing involved here to help warm up the core and the spine. We're gonna inhale into cow lifting the crown of the head and the tailbone, letting the spine sink into the spine as best as possible. And then exhale, pull the belly button up into the spine, let the crown of the head hang towards the floor and the tailbone point to the floor. And we'll go in and out of that about five to 10 times to help warm up the core, the spine, and get the mobility going. Then we'll move into a modified triangle pose that we're gonna borrow from yoga as well to help um, lengthen the spine and then to help strengthen the core body. 
in a standing position. So as we come into a modified triangle, we want to point our um, front foot, which we'll, we'll start with our right side, and point that towards um, a chair. We're going to have a chair here to help modify the triangle. We're going to inhale our arms to open up the chest, to open up the hips, and then we're going to exhale and reach out over that right leg and then use the chair to help provide balance, but to help provide a lengthening of the underside. And then we're gonna reach the opposite arm up to help open up the chest and the spine and help lengthen the spine. And we'll wanna do that evenly on both sides for this exercise. And breathe here about five to 10 breaths. And then we'll repeat it on the other side. Lengthening through the crown of the head, lengthening through fingertips, lengthening the side body that's reaching out over the extended leg. And then we'll make sure we do that on the other side as well. The third exercise we're gonna to do today is probably the most helpful exercise to strengthen and to help lengthen the spine is the side plank. And we're gonna only do this for um, a number of weeks on just the side that is convex, meaning that if the curve is, um, uh, out to the, this side, we're going to side plank only on this side to help strengthen the muscles on the concave side. So say we have the curve that's coming to our right, we want to side plank only on our right side. And there's some different ways we can do this. I'm going to suggest we use an elbow on the mat, and then we start with our hip on the floor, and then we're going to start, if, if you're um, new to planking, we would start on our knees, and then we'll just lift the hip, and we're going to stay in this side plank, making sure that the elbow is directly under shoulder, and that the knees are stacked as long as you can hold it. If you start shaking, it's okay to come down, and that would be your one very long endurance plank. Um, and you could do this once to twice a day, and do these daily, and you will help um, lengthen the spine, strengthen the core, and relieve the symptoms of scoliosis. Thanks, this is Nancy. I'll see you next time for the next Fitbit. To find out more about the Springfield Wellness Center and all the other services we offer, head over to our Facebook page or check out our YouTube channel.